biggest fear would be the transition into military lifestyle because of the regimentation. Go and space yourselves out, uh. go and maintain your social distancing. A lot of things can go wrong, but it's my duty to mitigate the risk. Third War Officer Uday Kumaran from BMDC School One Dragon Company. I'm company chief trainer, also known as the CCT of Dragon Company. This is our story, our story of every Singaporean son. Welcome back to Tekong, Arabita Range 2. Go on your rifle. Okay, next thing your rifle, next thing your rifle. Hey, I teach you already, right? Why I chose to be a regular in the army, I really like teaching. Even before getting into the army, I know some of my friends who are in the army and what are their roles and responsibility and their job scope. So when I hear that, it's very interesting and I wanted to do it. And their lifestyle is something I thought I could adapt and I have been doing that for 16 years. So I guess I like it. Come okay, pay attention, okay. come pay attention. Okay. Okay. okay, this is how the flag will drop to you. Okay, you reach out for the flag. It's just for the flag hole. As a company chief trainer, it's a lot on me because I'm the one who's coming up on who to do what kind of tasking, especially to my commanders. So in order for my commanders to be very aware of the situation, I need to brief them in detail and what exactly is being expected of them and what they are required to do with the recruits. We will do a rehearsal prior to proper upper presentation. Okay, we will go through a sequence. Okay, Baris! Ready! Go! Okay. Listen to my command. I said you listen to me and only me down here. Do I make myself clear? Yes, it's great. I think my role here is more than training them to become soldiers. It's to nurture them to become a fine Singaporean son. This is your weapon! With this weapon, I will defend my country, Sergeant! To me, the weapon presentation is very important because it's the first time the enlistees or rather the recruits will be getting their weapons. The day the recruits receive their weapon, I take it as it's their start of them becoming a soldier. Oi! Oi! Here by sir! Here by sir! Before this flag! Before this flag! In my family, I'm married. I have got a wife who's a teacher. I've got two daughters, eight years old and six years old. The second girl will be joining the first girl in the same school next year. Most of the time when they ask me what I do at work, I always tell them that uh, I'm training uh, my boys. I always call my recruits my boys to my daughters because I don't think they know how to understand the rank structure and recruits at all. So I always tell them that I'm training my boys. I'm actually quite strict on my girls, but then I also have the soft heart. Like, most of the time, I give it to them, you know. Soft way of treating them, not like so much of discipline. Before I had my first daughter, I think I was quite hard in camp. After being a father, I think my way of how I look at things has actually changed. BMT nowadays, uh, I won't say it's not tough. It is tough, but how we train the current generation of soldiers have evolved over the years. You should be very sure of the procedure. The one difficulty you might face that I assume, I'm guessing, is the picking out of the safety ring from the actual lever. If you need to throw again, like I said, you jolly well go and throw again. Don't go down there, go and fumble. Understood? Yes, yes, Jay. That's a lot of difference when I was in BMT and the BMT nowadays. Those days, I think, I have been told a lot of time to go and touch a tree and come back. But nowadays, we don't do it anymore. The army has progressed. So, there are a lot of things which I went through when my BMT days. The recruits nowadays, they don't go through that. I think one of the biggest joy of being a BMTC CCT is uh, being, seeing the transformation from them being a civilian boy to become a trained soldier. 